Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool on this model here and basically what this is, is a touch screen meat thermometer. So you can definitely use it to actually check like the temperature for your meat. Or if you guys want to check like the temperature for like your soup or water or whatever, you can definitely use it however you guys want to. So if you flip it to the back part right here, you can definitely see that it's from this part right here. But definitely use it in oven or if you guys want to use it for barbecuing, you can definitely use it however you guys want to. But definitely the cool thing about the product here is the fact that it actually is touch screen. So you can definitely actually touch the screen on here to actually change different settings on here. So I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the product looks like first. All right, so when you guys first open up, this will actually look like right here. So this will probably guys a quick starter guide or user manual right here to teach you guys how to use it and also how to set it up. And then right underneath that, if you can see the actual part right here. And then right here we have the cable for you guys to use to check the temperature on here. So take everything out. All right, so let's see if I actually take it out right here. They do progress two of them and the cable on here is pretty long as well so you don't have to worry about being too short and definitely the cool thing about this cable right here is the fact that it is heat resistant up to a certain extent as long as you guys don't go above 700 degrees fahrenheit then you should be fine so you can definitely put this in the oven if you guys want to but you basically want to put this side onto your meat and the other side you want to plug it onto the actual product and here we have the actual product so you can see it's all nicely wrapped up so let's take this out first once we take it out, you can definitely see the power right here. So there is the display screen right here. And right here, we do have the brand logo. If we turn to the back right here, you can definitely see that there is two strong magnets on here. And there's a switch for you guys to turn it off, cook, or timer option on here. And right here, we do have the slot for you guys to put the battery in. So if we open this up, you can see it actually requires two AAA batteries on here. And the battery is not included, so you need to have your own batteries ready. So I'm actually going to get some batteries and put it inside right here first. All right, so we got our batteries in. Let's put that on the cover. So when you guys are ready to use it, you basically want to turn on the switch right here, push it one time to cook. So this is basically what the screen looks like right here. So we take a look on the slide right here. You can see they only have one outlet right here. So that's not a bad thing. It just means you guys can only use one at a time. But the cool thing about having two probes is the fact that they give you guys a backup one. So that way, if you guys want to keep it as a backup, or if you guys want to just have that ready, so that way you guys don't have to rewash the same one over again, you can definitely use that on here, which is pretty nice. But see in the front part right here, we have everything on here. So we have alert temperature, we have a cook temperature, we have a beef option, and basically we have all these other options here in the bottom. So basically, if you guys want to change the different modes on here, you basically want to press on this button right here. All right, so those are all the different settings on here. If you guys press on this option right here, That basically allows you guys to change the setting on here in terms of how well you guys want to cook the product. So basically in this case right here, if we're cooking beef, it gives you guys the option of how you guys want to cook your meat. So if you guys want well done, if you guys want rare, you can definitely select all that on here. So this is basically what the product looks like and how to actually use it. Let me actually go plug this in and actually test out to show you guys how it works and when actually it works. And it will come back and talk more product in a second. All right. So you can definitely see the magnetic option on here definitely does work. So the reason why it's tilting a little bit is because the magnet on here is not like super strong and there's only two on top. I feel like what they probably should have done is add two more magnets in the bottom or they probably should put it in the middle. So that way I should balance it out because right now it's not fully balanced. So that's why it's tilting a little bit. And there's basically no support in the bottom part and only has a support on top. That's why it's tilting like this. All right, so we have everything all set right here. Let me actually test it out to show you guys how it works. So basically right here, I have some hot water that just boiled, but let's test it out. So you can definitely see the temperature on here is rising. And basically once you reach the temperature that is one, it will actually send you guys alert. All right. And basically once the temperature goes back down, it'll turn off the alert. But you can see the product definitely does work and definitely give you guys a pretty fast result on here. All right, welcome back guys. So now this is a quick test of product and definitely see that she does work and she works quite well. So I definitely love the fact that how this product is actually has a touch screen option. So that way it actually makes it a lot easier for you guys to actually use the product right here. And it's also really cool it actually has like the preset options on here. So if you guys want to cook chicken, cook beef, cook seafood, cook fish, you can definitely do all that on here and definitely add your own customized time and temperature on here as well. And it's also really cool how she give you guys the option if you guys want to actually leave this into your oven. As long as you guys don't exceed like the 700 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, then you should be fine. And definitely having the magnetic option on here so that way if you guys want to stick it onto your fridge or something, you can definitely do that on here, which is definitely pretty convenient. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Not a unboxing and testing product. 
not a question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this part right here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these one of these, especially if you guys are planning to like barbecue or if you guys need to cook stuff in the oven, if you guys need to check the temperature inside of your chicken, if you guys need to check the temperature of the stuff you guys are cooking. So maybe if you guys want to use it for making chicken or turkey or whatever, since Thanksgiving is coming up, then definitely getting one of these is actually really worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.